Hello everybody, Salty Sweet Ren here, and welcome to the first episode of the second generation of our expanded Whimsy Stories legacy, and I am here with Rowan, who last episode finally aged up into a young adult, and hopefully we'll be going to college soon so we can get her into the education career, because one of my mods apparently makes a degree a requirement. And most of you guys voted for sending her to college to get a degree. And I am honestly really looking forward to, like, a whole new generation. So every generation of the Whimsy Stories legacy has a different little blurb attached to a different sort of story that that generation is supposed to follow. And for generation two, it says, Happiness isn't found only in the partner's embrace. You grew up well-loved by your parents, raised with care and compassion. They were the perfect couple. After watching their storybook romance grow deeper with each passing day, you start to question whether it's even possible for you to have the same thing someday. It begins to feel daunting. So, instead of facing it, you choose to stay away from love. You might go on a date here and there, but ultimately, your fear and anxiety about having a partner keeps you single for the majority of your life. Though you never wanted for a partner, you still adore children. You've always wanted to be a parent. The idea of giving a young Sim a home full of love for the rest of their life, outings and holidays, memories made as a family, and I am actually suddenly distracted by everything going on on screen. What the heck is- Kiyoshi Ida was here for whatever reason. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'll resume reading in just a moment. <laughs> Though you never wanted for a partner, you still adore children. You've always wanted to be a parent. The idea of giving a young Sim a home full of love for the rest of their life, outings and holidays, memories made as a family, the thought makes your heart swell. You want to be that for someone. And whoever said you need a partner to have kids. You say, to hell with societal norms and adopt four children throughout your life. You parent them alone. Even though it's just you, they have all the love they could ever ask for. You create lasting memories together. They are happy. You are happy. Your family is picture perfect. You are a super parent and even though you've never had a romantic interest, you still feel that your life is completely full of love. Until you hit elderhood, that is. Caught by surprise, you meet someone with whom you instantly connect. You've both lived your own lives, complete with individual experiences and lessons learned. And now you find yourself completely and utterly in love, inexplicably and unexpectedly. You live out the rest of your days with your newfound soulmate and knit adorable creations for your grandkids. So the requirements for starting Generation 2 are that we need to have the super parent aspiration, which we've got, and we need to have the unflirty and family-oriented traits, which we have, and then the rest of the traits can just be anything or says any trait. I have a mod that gives uh, young adults and adults and elders five traits instead of just three, so we are, in addition to being unflirty and family-oriented, we are also self-assured, clumsy, and friendly. In addition, because we got the Suburban Bliss ending for Generation 1, we also have the home turf trait, so we become happy whenever we are in our home neighborhood. And the focus skills for this generation are going to be parenting and researching and debate, which we've got a little bit of a start on. We are at level three of research and debate and level one of parenting. So hopefully those will come along well. And the overall goals for this generation are that upon succession, move out of your childhood home and into your own home. There are no restrictions on where you may live. We're gonna pause on that in case we do get into un university. If we don't get accepted, I'll probably just wind up cheating the career, at, like, whenever we hit whatever block there is for needing a degree. But anyways, we need to have a gallery wall full of family photos, and I actually recently had Rowan take a whole bunch of family photos, so that should be good. We must go all out for every season and holiday. Like, our house has to be decorated, our tree is perfect, our home should be in a magazine, our neighbors are either jealous of us or hate how overboard our lawn is around the holidays. Yeah, that kind of decoration. Always have at least one pet in the household. Another reason why it would be a great idea to bring Melody along with us. I don't know if we can take her to college with us, though. Hopefully we can. And uh, we have to adopt four children in our lifetime. And our adopted children must be child age. Not baby, toddler, or teen. They must be child. 
and we may begin adopting in young adulthood, and that may be spread out through young adulthood, adulthood, and elderhood at our preference. All children must be adopted before we're starting whatever relationship we have as an elder, though. And we must not be in any committed relationship until elderhood. Flings and one-night stands are permitted sparingly, as long as you do not go above 25% on the romance meter with any sim. Um, thankfully, uh, since we have the unflirty trait, that should probably be easy anyway. Um, I'm also gonna say that Rowan, for her part, is actually demi-romantic, which is part of the reason that she, like, struggles with romance. It's not that she doesn't want a romantic relationship, because she does, it's just that she isn't romantically interested in anybody unless she, like, really gets to know them. But yeah, uh, Rowan is demi-romantic, asexual, so she, um, like, while she does want a romantic relationship, uh, she also cannot really be romantically or sexually attracted to anybody unless she gets to know them. She's still asexual, though. <clears throat> Anyways, and we can we can only get into romance, we can only get into a relationship and get married as an elder. Uh, we need to complete the education career and master the parenting and research and debate skills, and complete the super parent aspiration. And in the end, our heir will be the youngest or last adopted child who can bear children. Or if there is none, then we the generation three heir should just be the youngest or last adopted child. Just rework the story prompts to better fit the scenario. And I'm thinking from generation two onwards, I'm going to avoid looking at what all of the ending goals are. Like what all the ending criteria is. And instead, I'm just going to like wait until the end. A succession will occur on the day that the generation two heir gets married or dies. So we're gonna wait until then to see what exactly the endings are. I'll probably like take a screenshot and show it to you guys, but I'm not gonna look too closely. I have looked at, I have looked at what all the ending criteria is just in my own time doing research. But like, I can't remember it all off the top of my head. I know that certain things are good, certain things are bad. I don't know the specifics. Sometimes it's not a matter of like, this is a good ending, this is a bad ending. It's just like, these are two different possible endings you could get depending on which way things went. Now that you guys know what all the criteria and everything is for generation two, I'm going to go ahead and have Rowan do her thing. I have no idea when we're going to find out if she got into university. I know I've, um, I've already had her apply. It said that she got the mail today, but I didn't see any mail. So I don't know what exactly was the mail. Oh, by the way, I also had Sakura um, apply for university scholarships and all of hers are gone, apparently. Oh, you're giving fake bad news to Rowan? Why are you doing that? Are you still in the middle of your mean streak? But yeah, anyways, I don't know where her scholarship envelopes have gone, but she actually got into all- she got almost every single scholarship that she applied for. I don't know how, but she got every single one except for one that she applied for. So, good for her! Oh, what's this? Uh, you want, to, you want us to become an actress? It's like, well, we're gonna decline that job offer. If we get something for the education career, I mean, we'll gladly accept, but, like, we're going to not do that for now. Also, I'm probably gonna give her the laptop in the end. Also, I've gone ahead and gotten some pictures of the family. Got some pictures of- got some pictures of Sakura, got some pictures of Cassidy, and we have an old picture of Kensuke with Cassidy as well. It's actually just another copy of this photo- this photo right here. Oh dear. These two are still really not getting along. What happened? Personal rift? Jeez. I've noticed that a lot of my social interactions are kind of a little- are kind of a little unusual lately. I don't know what's going on. Like, things that shouldn't be autonomous are autonomous? I don't know if it's because I- is- I don't know if it's because of a mod that I've got or something. I don't know. Oh, are you playing Sims Medieval? I would love to play Sims Medieval at some point. That looks... I do actually want to try playing Sims Medieval at some point. Um, let me know in the comments if I should, because I've heard some- I've heard some good stuff about it. It's supposed to be one of the better Sims spin-off games. 
I should probably have Cassidy continue trying to sell this stuff, just so, like, even when we're gone, we take the 15,000 simoleons. We'll still, like... I don't know. But these two have always really gotten along. I, I have absolutely adored them. Oh! I didn't... I, okay, that happened, sure. No, this might be the last episode where... Oh, alright. Okay, you know what? If you, like, if you wanted to do some, like, wellness skill stuff, why don't, instead of doing yoga, you go ahead and meditate. Your sister will... practice yoga, I suppose. Rowan can now teleport when levitating and make superfood salads. She's wellness level 7. I didn't even realize that she was that good at it. But you know what? Good for her. How do you teleport while levitating? Is it a matter of... Wait, hang on. I was controlling the wrong sim. Teleport for meditation stool. Let's try it. Oh. oh? Yo! I didn't even know that was a thing! That is so cool! Buy a building blocks play table. Not yet. We'll do that probably when we have our own place. Visit the haunted house from being a knowledge sim. I know that, that haunted houses are kind of important for one of the future generations, so... We'll do that one day. Oh, the kitty wants attention! Baby! We're gonna give you a hug. We're going to... We're gonna pet you. We're gonna give you so much attention, baby. Hi, Melody. I still don't know how Melody got so sick the other time, but I didn't... Melody is adorable. She's such a pretty cat. Look at her. Oh, we should Simstagram her too. Let's do that. If there's one thing I know, it's that cat pictures are the best. I literally will post- I will literally make a post with just a picture of Simba and everyone goes wild for it. Oh. Hmm. This is a little bit of an awkward spot. There we go, that's better. There we go, let's let's do this. Turn off flash. We have gained 17 Simstagram followers, or Melody has. You know what, good for Melody. Melody's got her own Simstagram page now. She's gonna be an internet star. And we wanna win a game of chess, you know what? Sure, let's go ahead and Play some chess with Sakura. Let's see if we can win a game. What is this guy doing? Is this one of the toys that was just randomly on their lot? This guy has just shown up in his ra Logan Burnside. Logan. It's not Logan, it's Logan. Ooh, she wants to win a game of chess too because she's a competitive sim. Nuts. Oh. Oh dear. Getting called a loser, oh dear. And Sakura is yelling at us now. She's scolding us for distracting her, okay. I don't know who won. But I think, I think, I think Rowan must have won. But she's already kind of lost the whim to uh, win a game of chess. That's probably why we got scolded for distracting, because Sakura is annoyed. Fun fact about that, I actually did some research on the mod that adds the the emotional socials. And that's not supposed to be an autonomous interaction, so something's going on there. Oh, and you're off to go and ask your sister for advice again. Okay, go ahead and ask Rowan for some advice. But who am I? I'm not sure what I want to be when I grow up and all of my friends seem to have figured it out. How do I figure it out myself? We only have one option. Pick something you like. Ooh, actually, did we get any of the traits? We got good manners, responsible, and mediator. And emotional control. You know what? Good for you. You got four of the five uh, emotional parenthood things. Oh, Rowan is now parenting level two. Good, good, good. That's very good for her. Oh, hello. Who is this? Valeria Siddiqui. Who is Valeria Siddiqui? I've never actually... Have I seen you before? That's interesting choice of wearing tennis shoes with a pretty dress like that. 
Oh wait, you're sitting out in the rain. Uh, why don't you go inside? It's like 11 p.m. Why don't you go ahead and go to sleep? Also, I cleared away Melody's old bed, but because Melody, now that she is an adult, can actually sleep in here, which is super cute. She was a vampire! That's who Valeria was! She was a vampire, and she just... Okay. That's what I keep talking about. Did you did you see how Melody just collapsed? Is, what causes that? Is Melody okay? I know we just went to the vet. Is she sick again? I don't think Melody's sick again, but that always that always worries me every time. And has the mail arrived yet? No, it has not. Hopefully today we'll know whether we got accepted into university. And next episode we will go to university. Okay, these two have immediately gotten off on the wrong foot, just chatting. At the very least, if there's something that Rowan's good at, it's being able to repair relationships. So, that's good. I should probably have her go ahead and start taking care of this table again. Since we still have so much stuff to sell, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Is that the mail carrier? No, I believe that that is Yana Moon, never mind. Where is the mail? I want to know if we've gone to university. Let's go ahead and check our application status on the computer, because we need to know. Might be a while before we get anything, but come on, come on. Acceptance letter! Okay, so I do want to go into Brightchester. And uh, the Historical U University of Brightchester is pleased to offer... Rowan Whimsy admitted to the following degrees. Young adult or older sims who wish to join our Hallowed Halls should enroll via mailbox on their computer. So we can do uh, biology... Uh, the distinguished degrees are art history, communications, culinary arts, drama, history, language, and literature. Which ones are the ones that the Adeep Indigo mod says are required? Um, it says art history, biology, economics, uh, literature and languages, Physics, psychology, or the custom one. So I think we could probably go into language and literature. I feel like that'd be good. Language and literature seems like it'd be a good idea. So let's do that one. Also, Memoriam is tomorrow. Memoriam is good, like uh, basically the equivalent of Memorial Day, I suppose. Uh, tomorrow, the events for Memoriam are appreciate an object, fasting, remembrance, and tell stories. So we might wind up uh, doing memoriam and then after that going to college. But first, university, let's go ahead and... Are there any more scholarships that we can check? Athletics and esports. Okay, we're not going into either of those, so we're not going to get one of those. Uh, let's go ahead and enroll. Let's do that. Okay. So choose a university to attend for this term. I believe that we're going to do Brightchester. There's also a debate guild at Brightchester. Also, their their in, their logo is a dragon. Their mascot is a dragon. Why would I not do University of Brightchester? We'll join the debate guild. We'll do uh, the language and literature degree, and then there's dragon stuff. So let's see. Uh, language and literature. Uh, since the invention of the written word, uh, the goal to capture information, emotion, and stories for future generations, uh, degree, degree benefits, uh, for author, freelance writer, private attorney. Uh, let's do, uh, we need to complete 12 classes to graduate. Uh, let's do two core classes, an optional elective class. Uh, there are so many interesting things. What is something that would be good for, uh, research and debate? Okay, I don't think that there is anything that we can do for, uh, research and debate. So I think that we will do... Charisma or chess? Charisma or logic, one of those two. Um... Let's go with Charisma, I think. Oh, there's a place called Wyvern Hall, but it already has people there. 
Um, oh, come on, wyverns are my favorite place. I, oh, I should go into Wyvern Hall. Let's do it. We're going to Wyvern Hall, I think. And we got a scholarship. I didn't realize we did. I thought I thought we failed to get that. We got uh, food and drink and merit, and pay with household funds for now, I suppose. Uh, you know what? The total cost will be three fifty-six. You know what? Sure. Yeah, we we can do that. Let's do three fifty-six for the total cost. Come on, come on. Wait, am I moving in with these guys? I don't want to be part of th these guys' household. What? Okay, whatever. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and transfer over the amount that I normally do. The amount that I'm supposed to have, which is the fifteen. Thousand simoleons. Hang on. I forgot that the keypad will change my shaders a little bit. And I'm probably gonna have to deal with these guys at some point. It'll be fine. These guys shouldn't be part of my household. We'll we'll take care of that. Okay, I think I got things pretty fixed up. And it looks like I can actually see which beds every sim has decided to claim. So... Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and claim this bed for ourselves. I, I want this room, basically, is what I'm saying. Hang on. Class is in four days, class in two days, class in four days. We have homework that we need to do. So, let's go ahead and... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put our laptop here, I suppose. Oh, Kensuke's spirit is fading away! No! Tomorrow at Memoriam, we are going to visit the graveyard. That's what, that's what we're gonna do. Tomorrow for Memoriam, we are visiting the graveyard and we are going to make sure that we... Let's see if we can strengthen his connection with, his, with the physical world. We don't want to forget our dad. He's, he's our dad. And also, we're going to fix up some of the sims who happen to be around here, behind the scenes. But anyways, I think for now I'm going to wrap this episode up. So guys, thank you all so much for joining me for this episode of the Sims 4 Whimsy Legacy Expanded. Um, if you guys enjoyed watching, please be sure to uh, hit the like button and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. And if you're not already subscribed and you want to see more of this, uh, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. It's completely free. You can always unsubscribe at any time. But it really helps out the channel if you do subscribe. So thank you all. And I will see you guys in the future. So stay safe out there, everybody. 